Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a double Nendoroid review on the two youngest characters from Non Non Biori, which is probably my favorite slice of life anime. It's a really relaxing watch that focuses on childhood in the Japanese countryside. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Nendoroid forms of these two characters, 1st grader Renge and 5th grader Hotaru. The boxes are nothing special, they're just standard Nendoroid boxes that I'm sure you've all seen. Renge's is pink and Hotaru's is Robin's Egg Blue. Renge is a very simple Nendoroid but is absolutely adorable with her lavender twin tails and signature Ahoge that can actually spin around on the Nendoroid. And her signature faceplate is that comically apathetic expression that she sports throughout much of the show. For limbs, Renge has four arm pieces bent at various angles, one of which holds her recorder, which is one of the first objects we see the character with in the anime, and she also has another separate handpiece with a single extended finger. Another accessory we can't forget is the shiny red backpack Renge receives for her first day of first grade from her grandmother. This pegs right into the hole where the Nendoroid stand would normally go, and then there is a hole on the bottom that allows you to put Renge on the stand via the backpack. The final accessory to come with this first Nendoroid is Goo, the tanuki that Renge swears she has trained. I always really like it when Nendoroids come with animals and companions, so this is definitely an appreciated accessory. Renge comes with two faceplates, the first of which is her excited expression, and this is my personal favorite as it really captures her character. Because while Renge's expression may be one of apathy throughout much of the show, she's actually an extremely curious, easily excitable seven-year-old, and this expression captures that perfectly. The second faceplate is meant to pose her as if she is playing her recorder, However, it can also come across as a curious expression, or depending on the pose and situation you put her in, it could even look a bit annoyed. There is also a background piece to use with her excited expression, however this does look like it would scuff pretty easily, so I will likely only use it for photos once in a while. And now we move on to Hotaru a young girl from Tokyo who has never lived in the country before. Her character is honestly a breath of fresh air as she's only in fifth grade and is very open to new ideas and experiences, rather than being the stereotypical portrayal of a city girl who moves to the country and hates it. And of course, her Nendoroid form is really cute and I especially love the pastel color scheme of her outfit. For arms, Hotaru has two bent arm pieces for various poses, and a set of arms that are connected at the hands to hold the accessory I am about to show you. And that accessory is her Komachan doll! For those who may not have seen the show, Hotaru has the cutest little girl crush on her senpai Komari-chan, and these are the dolls she creates of her. One is attached to an arm piece that Hotaru can hold, and the other one is loose and can either be sat beside her with an accompanying tiny stand, or can be held in her outstretched arms. Her final accessory is a red backpack just like Renge's, and it attaches in the same way as well. Hotaru's faceplates are equally as adorable as Renge's. The first one is this crying, scared expression that is used multiple times throughout the story to solidify the fact that Hotaru is only a fifth grader, despite how mature she often comes across. The other expression is a super happy, pleased, satisfied expression that is reserved almost solely for when Hotaru is thinking of Komari-senpai. Like Renge, Hotaru also comes with a background. This one is pink and sparkly, and once again, I usually only use these for photos and not for display. Overall, I am very happy to add these two cuties to my Nendoroid collection. 
They are very simple, but they come with some really nice accessories and faceplates that can also be swapped out with other Nendoroids. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these two as much as I did. I highly suggest you check out Nonon Biori if you have any interest in slice of life animes at all. It was so relaxing and the artwork is gorgeous to look at. But for now, that is all from me. Until next time, stay glamorous and stay geeky. Bye! These are always really fun videos to watch, so I figured I would unbox them on camera for you. Let's see what is in here.